Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews, everyone. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Happy holidays. This will be the last video I do before Christmas. <coughs> I have a lot that is on my plate. I'm still taking care of the nephew and niece. So, yeah. I do have an update on the Alec Baldwin situation. So, without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? Apparently, the father of Helena Hutchins has come forward. Anatoly Androsovich, father of Rush Director of Photography, Helena Hutchins, has recently opened up about the shooting on the set of the film, declaring that it is hard for him to understand how Alec Baldwin cannot be held partially responsible for the killing of his daughter. I can't understand the behavior of Alec, Androsovich recently told The Sun, wondering why did he sweep out his tweets when it became clear the shooting was on rehearsal in the wake of the onset shooting of the, on the 21st of October. Hutchins' father continued, and why did he fire the shot during the preparations? The revolver is the type of gun which doesn't shoot before the trigger is pressed, and Alec is partially guilty for causing that shot, as we all have been stating, and which is the honest, God's honest truth. And it is clear to me Baldwin fired the shot from his hand, so it's hard for me to understand how he cannot be held partially responsible for my daughter's death, he declared, adding that he doesn't know whether Helena's son Andros nine will ever fully recover from the event and explain that andros is slowly getting back to life but this is a huge blow for us all anatoly androsovich previously stated he did not hold baldwin responsible for the killing of his daughter as reported by the sun late in october in the wake of the shooting he actually put the blame on the film's armory team stating that he didn't Hold Alec Baldwin responsible, direct quote, it is the responsibility of the props, people who handle the guns. And then it just goes into all the other stuff that has been going on before that has been reported on. So, yes, I do feel for the Hutchins family and her father is understandably upset and grief stricken and he has every right to change his mind when he initially said he doesn't hold Alec Baldwin responsible at first, but now he does. He doesn't understand how he can't be partially responsible for it. Alec Baldwin made the conscious decision to pull that hammer back and pull the trigger on a single action revolver, which requires you pull the hammer back, wait for that click, and then you pull the trigger in order to fire the gun. This was not a modern-day double-action revolver. This was an antique single-action. He made the conscious decision to do that. He made the conscious decision to not check the gun. He knew that he should have. That is, Gun Safety 101, treat every gun as if it's loaded. He knows this from his many years of handling weapons on set. Or has he just been so entitled in his celebrity that he never, ever did that on set. I'm honestly wondering now. But yes, Anatoly Andro or Androsovich, I am very much in agreement. Alec Baldwin should be held partially responsible for your daughter's death. And I am also saddened by the fact that celebrities are getting away with far too much they're literally getting away with killing people if Alec Baldwin gets away with this. In any shape, way, or form. If it slides off his back, that's not justice. I want justice for Helena Hutchins' death. And I do believe that justice is owed to a nine-year-old boy and a grieving husband as well. So yes, folks. That is a statement of... Anatoly Androsovich, the father of Helena Hutchins, 
and I hope that Alec Baldwin is held to account, as is David Halls, as is Hannah Gutierrez Reed, as is all of those who made the conscious decisions to cut corners on safety regulations, and all of those who did not do their jobs correctly. And because of such foolishness, a woman is dead. A nine-year-old boy will not be able to spend Christmas time with his mother, nor will a grieving husband. Or a father and mother. Helena Hutchins was killed, but her family is left with the loss, and her family is left with the inability to spend their holidays with her. So yes, accountability needs to be had for Alec Baldwin, for Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, for David Halls, and the rest of those responsible for neglecting to do the proper safety protocols for movies with guns on set. Daily gun safety meetings. Daily gun safety practice. All of it needs to be done, but they didn't do it. And look what happened. Anyway, folks, that is going to be the video. You all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, folks. What do you think? Anyway, this has been Orange Hat Reviews. Have a wonderful holiday, and always remember, stay humble.